Hi, this is John Musgrave from Music Radar, and in this video we're taking a look at the synth vital. Wavetable synthesis is a concept that's really taken off during the software era, and with big hitters such as Serum continuing to dominate the airwaves, it's clear this form of synthesis delivers the sounds and flexibility DAW users crave. In our free synth series, Surge XT, although essentially a hybrid design, provided our first foray into serious wavetable synthesis in a free format. This time around, we turn our attention to a synth that has received a lot of praise since its arrival four years ago. Vital is a wavetable synth with spectral warping, and this adds control over the harmonics of the wavetable, allowing you to stretch, shift, smear, and skew them to create new timbres. Sounds impressive and the kind of instrument that should carry a hefty price tag, and Vital is indeed available at various price points. However, its basic version is absolutely free and has the exact same functionality, but with a more modest set of wavetables and presets. This provides an excellent opportunity to fully explore its capabilities and then upgrade if you like it. Vital has a very clear layout that combines a main tabbed parameter window with menu toolbar at the top, keyboard at the bottom, macro controls on the left, and the main modulation sources such as envelopes and LFOs to the right. The toolbar at the top includes standard features such as the presets browser, preset management and global output level, as well as a rather handy output waveform display. It's also where you choose the main tabs, voice, that's the oscillators, effects, matrix, and advanced. To get started, we've loaded up the init preset. With the main voice tab selected, you'll see you have three wavetable oscillators and one sample-based oscillator. For any of the oscillators, selecting the drop-down menu displays the available options. You can also navigate to additional folders to add any WAV format wavetables and regular samples to the sample oscillator. It's worth mentioning that wavetables can also be created from samples, created from scratch in the editor, or converted from text, and we'll look at this option later. The oscillator layout is pretty straightforward with pan, level, pitch, and the output destination options on the left, wave selection and wave editing in the middle, and unison, phase, and the spectral warping options to the right. To get started, load up the basic shapes wavetable from the factory folder. This wavetable is used to store seven core oscillator shapes, and adjusting the slider on the right of the wavetable display moves between the options. Other handy ways to view the wavetable content are the 3D view in the bottom left, and the edit window in the bottom right. In the main window, we can add up to 16 voices of unison with detune, and adjust oscillator phase and phase randomization. Vital includes a number of wave warping functions such as sync, formant, and quantize, and also has the all important spectral warping feature. Here the drop-down menu has various options that modify the waveform harmonics, and this system provides a very powerful and fundamental way to manipulate the whole wavetable. Below the oscillators you'll find two filters, and each filter preset includes two shapes, with a top slider blending between them. For modulation you have three envelopes and four LFOs, and the default assignment for envelope one is amplitude. There are also two random modulators with sample and hold plus three other styles of syncable random modulation. Both envelopes and LFOs are easy to edit via the display, and there are plenty of preset LFO shapes to choose from. Modulators can be assigned to parameters simply by dragging their assignment icons, and once assigned, Depth can be set both at the source or target via the small level dial. With the modulator assigned, you'll see it appears in the main matrix tab, and you can also make modulation assignments directly in this page. If you want to assign macros, then the process is pretty similar.
Selecting the Effects tab accesses Vital's nine effects modules. Active modules can be edited in the adjacent rack and the serial signal flow reordered by dragging the module headers. Modulators can be assigned to the effects in the same way as other synth parameters. Finally, the Advanced tab accesses a number of global and advanced features, including oversampling, global tuning, and deeper unison settings for each oscillator. Let's take a look at a few of its interesting features. In the oscillator's pitch section, you'll find a small keyboard. Select this to open the pitch transpose snap feature. You can use this in a couple of ways. In its default state, it snaps any modulators to the selected scale notes. Meanwhile, with global snap selected, it snaps incoming MIDI notes to the selected notes. The first option is of interest as if you assign a suitably stepped LFO as a modulator, it provides a great way to create an arpeggiator. As discussed, Vital includes spectral warping, and the various modes introduce quite different outcomes. For example, formant scale is reasonably subtle, while harmonic stretch and smear both deliver much more edgy outcomes. Adjusting the parameter control in shepherd tone moves between two identical pitches, but creates a smooth shepherd scale between them. Finally, spectral time skew is the most transformative of the options. Vital has some excellent stereo implementation, and this is particularly good within the LFOs. If you head to the LFO window, you'll see on the far right there is a stereo parameter. This introduces a plus or minus phase offset to the LFO for left and right channels. This can be great for adding width or stereo movement to sounds. For example, connect an LFO to the filter cutoff and then introduce a small amount of the LFO stereo option for a filtered panning style effect. We already mentioned that Vital includes text to wavetable, but what does this actually mean? In essence, Vital creates a wavetable from the words you type in. To get started, head to the main preset browser and from the factory folder select the text to wavetable template. Now return to the main voice tab and control click inside the oscillator graphic. From the drop down menu, select the text to wavetable option and type in your text and then hit enter. You can now play back your text as a synthesized wavetable. Music radar. Music radar. Music radar. Each vital oscillator includes additional unison features in the advanced tab, including the stereo width and detune range. But it's the stack options that are particularly interesting. Here you can select various different pitch settings. We particularly like the major and minor chord options, which are great for creating retro rave sounds. Finally, it's worth having a quick look at the advantages of upgrading Vital to one of the pay for options. As mentioned, the synth functionality is the same but what you get is considerably more content, both in terms of wavetables and presets. Additionally, if you head to the Vital Store, you can simply buy wavetable and preset packs as required, and use these with any version, including the basic free version we've looked at here.